this lesson, we're going to look at how to get more advanced with funnels. We're going to look at how to add time delays to making elements visible or not visible on the page. And we're going to look at how to show a countdown timer to someone who's in the funnel. So let's dive into the screen share and find out how to do it. Okay, so I'm going to jump into the demo funnel that we've been building throughout this lesson. And one thing that I want to do <clears throat> is I want to create a delay on a button um, and an image element after about five seconds of someone being on the page. In addition to that, I want to tell them that there is a countdown to when certain offers are running out. This creates a sense of urgency and triggers certain consumer behaviors. So let's click on the edit and click on edit page. Great. So let's say that this sign up button, I want to delay this. What I need to do is I need to add a countdown timer element. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to add a minute timer. So let's add that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to click the button and the element that I've currently got to be not visible. Then what I'm going to do is I am going to say that the <clears throat> expiring action is to show or hide an element. Now, of course, I'm kind of doing this in reverse because you could either have the countdown show an element or hide an element. It's entirely up to you. What I'm going to do is I'm going to show that element and that's going to be the button that I just hid. So remember when I said that it's important to name your elements? Well, let's go to manage and we had the button which is currently not visible. Let's give it a name and we're going to call it the hidden button. And that's a timed offer. Right, the hidden button timed offer is currently visible. Let's turn off the visibility. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go back to our timer. The expiry actions is going to show the element and the element is the hidden button timed offer. Of course, what we need to do now is we need to time the settings to be one minute. Now, for demo purposes, I'm going to make this 10 seconds. So let's get rid of that. And I'm going to say, you know, something like um, offer will be gone in the next 30 seconds, right? So it probably makes more sense that the button's visible and then becomes un, you know, invisible. But I thought I would do it this way anyway. So let's just click on save. We're going to keep the metadata, of course. And now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to preview this. So we've got, you know, some information saying there's seven seconds left. And when this runs out, what's going to happen? Ta-da, click to sign up. So being able to create these dynamic elements that are visible, having a countdown timer, um, is all driven towards converting, right? Which is the aim of these funnels in the first place. Of course, if you don't want the timer to be visible to the user, and you just want things to be timed in and out, you could just make this element not visible and get rid of it here. I hope this is really helpful for you to come up with your own creative ways to drive urgency and ultimately more conversions in your own funnels.
How could you use the visible, not visible elements and countdown timers for things like specials, coupons, and sales? That's it for this lesson. We'll see you in the next one.